Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the basics of the Modbus communication. One of the most popular communication protocols used in the industrial automation. Specifically, we will be focusing on the two key types, Modbus RS485 and Modbus TCP IP. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of what Modbus is and how RS485 and TCP IP differ and where they are used. So let's get started. First, let's talk about what Modbus is. Modbus was developed in 1979 by a company called Modicon, which is now part of the Schneider Collective. It was created to help different industrial devices communicate with each other like PLCs, programmable logic controllers, sensors, and meters. Modbus is what we call communication protocol. Think of it like a language that devices use to exchange data with each other. It's simple and effective which is why it's still so widely used today. There are few types of Modbus, but the most common are Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP. In this video, we are going to focus on the two major forms, Modbus RTU, which means which uses RS485 and Modbus TCP IP, which use Ethernet for the communication. Now let's talk about Modbus RTU and RS485. RS485 is what we call a physical layer standard. This means it defines how the data is transmitted electrically over the network. It uses twisted pair cables to send the data over the long distances, making it really reliable in the industrial environment. So how does this work in practice? Modbus RTU run on RS485. The devices connected in an RS485 network are usually connected in a daisy chain configuration, which means each device is connected to the next one in the line. RS485 allows up to 32 devices to communicate on a single network. And because it uses twisted pairs of wires, it's really good at reducing interference even in the noisy industrial environments. Here's the key point. RS485 is a half duplex, meaning communication can only go in the one direction at a time. But it's still super reliable over the long distances, sometimes up to 1200 meters or 4000 feet. So in summary, Modbus RTU is used when the devices need to communicate in the harsh environments, like factories or plants over the long distances and where speed is not important as reliability. Now let's move on to the Modbus TCP, which is the more modern version of the Modbus. Instead of RS485, Modbus TCP IP uses the same technology that powers the internet, Ethernet. This allows the devices to communicate over a network using IP addresses. Essentially, each device on the network has its own unique address, making it easier for the devices to find and talk to each other. The biggest difference between RS485 and TCP IP is the speed and capacity. While the RS485 can only handle limited number of devices on a single network, the TCP IP can handle an unlimited number of the devices. This makes it perfect for the large scale industrial systems where you have a lot of devices spread out over a wide area, like in a small factory or building automation system. Another big advantage of the Modbus TCP is that it supports full duplex communication meaning devices can send and receive data simultaneously. So to put it simply, Modbus TCP is great when you need faster communication and a lot more devices on the network. It's commonly used in the modern factories, smart grids, and even in some home automation systems. Let's quickly go over the key differences between Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP IP. Modbus RTU with RS485, this is slower but it's great for the system where devices are close to each other, for example, PLC communicating with the temperature controllers to control the zone temperature of the industrial oven and the harsh environment. Think of an older manufacturing plant or factory floor. Modbus TCP IP, this is much faster and is used for the system where you need a lot of devices communicating over large areas like in a modern industrial facility. To sum it up, RS485 is great for the legacy systems or environments where you don't need the super fast communication, but you do need reliability over the long distances. TCP IP is perfect for the modern large scale systems where you need faster communication and have lots of devices to manage. 
So to wrap things up, Modbus communication protocol that allows different devices in an industrial setup to talk to each other. RS-485 is older but still a reliable option. And TCP IP is the faster and modern version. If you are dealing with the older systems or need to run the cables over the long distances, RS-485 is a great choice. But if you are setting up modern factory with lots of devices and need high speed communication, Modbus TCP IP is a way to go. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about Modbus or industrial automation, drop a comment below. Till next video, take care. Goodbye.